The app is just one component um, in making sure that we can have effective contact tracing. And in many of the countries that have had the most effective contact tracing, they haven't had an app, but it's a very, very valuable part of the system. Let's put all of this to someone who knows. Neil Dixon is Chief Executive of the NHS Confederation, joins me now. Do you share the confidence we're hearing from those other two? Good morning. Good morning, yes. Well, we're, we're more hopeful now, frankly, than we were 10 days or so ago. There's no doubt that the government has made it absolutely clear that you need a local element to this. So we're not just relying on an app and we're not just relying on people at the centre in call centres and the like. They brought in local authorities. I think behind the scenes they're talking to the leaders of local authorities and to directors of public health. Huge effort going on. But I think if we're, again, it's always this problem of slightly over-promising the excitement that politicians have of mm. setting a date and saying everything's going to be fine. I think uh, their, their honest view is that, yes, they'll get, they'll get it, whatever it is, up by June the 1st, but, you know, at that point, it'll, it'll still be under construction, as it were, and there's still lots more to do, and, and I, can't, I kind of understand that. But it, it's vital that they get this local element because it's not just a question of having, you know, a call centre somewhere. This is about systematically identifying anybody who's got symptoms, get them tested, searching in, say, high-risk areas or institutions where, you know, people may have, uh, may have contracted it and testing asymptomatic people, using the new antibody yeah. tests, hopefully to identify those who've had it, and so forth. So I think it'll take time to build this into a world-beating yeah. system. Let me ask you this. You, I have a note you wrote to the health secretary about this last week. Might I ask what you said and did you get a response? Uh, we, we, ha we, we have had a response in the sense that uh, those who are responsible for the system have absolutely been in touch with us and I think it's fair to say they have moved absolutely in the direction, I'm sure they would say they were going to do this anyway, but uh, <laughs> they, they have moved in the direction that we were keen on. We were very concerned that the local element was not, it was all about apps and it was all about, um, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with an app, but I think an app is not a panacea. I think Michael Gove acknowledged that. It is, if we can get it, it's great. It will help, but it's only one element and all forms of contact tracing, and I'm not an expert in this, but all forms of contact tracing historically absolutely rely on having local teams, people who know local areas who are able oh. to send in those professionals and linking up with GPs and others who are providing health care so that they but can, for example, go into care homes or whatever. Lastly, can I put it to you that they also rely on the confidence and support of the general public in taking, play, taking part in this and I wonder whether that has perhaps been misplaced to a degree as a result of the so-called Dominic Cummings affair. Has that dashed the public confidence in, in some of the government's measures? Well, uh, it's definitely not for me to comment on uh, an individual or, or indeed um, any no, member I asked of the government. The, but, respectfully, I asked about the affair uh, and the impact on yeah, public trust. Yeah, and I, so I'm going on to that. I yeah. just wanted to make that absolutely clear. Okay, so fine. it doesn't really matter. I think there's no doubt from our members that there is concern that confidence could be undermined. And we've seen confidence undermined already in relation to things like PPE and testing. Now, they're much better now, so hopefully confidence starts to build again. But the importance, and it is very difficult for government, I entirely accept that in the world of social media and everybody coming in all directions, but confidence of frontline staff and indeed of the wider public that they are doing the right thing for the right reasons. I actually think one of the reasons for having a local element to this is so important because I think people are more likely to for example, go and self-isolate if they are in touch with a local service that says this is the thing you must do rather than the Prime Minister appearing on television. Grateful for your time, Mr. Dixon. Grateful for your time, Mr. Dixon. Grateful for your time, Mr. Dixon.